Hello, it's Adam here, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on distribution pipes. Uh, these little badoobadoos here. And um, I'm going to use what I've made here as an example of how to use them. And so, what we've got here is a box full of diamonds, chest full of diamonds. <laughs> um, I don't know whether you've seen our other tutorials, but we'll have like, you can have like diamonds pumping in through an EMC, from an EMC generator and stuff like that. So you just basically want diamonds in this chest and uh, it comes through here and makes dark matter and artanalis fuel and comes down here and it makes red matter and dark matter. Now I'm not going to spend too long on just this so let's get building it and I'll explain it as we go. So come over here. So this is the chest you're going to have with your diamonds in. So chuck some diamonds in there. So yeah, if you have like a steady supply of diamonds coming in, that would be pretty um, handy. Um, so I'm gonna put a pipe in the top here. Oh, you're gonna want a um, a pipe there because you need to pull it out of the top. So there you go. Um, all right. So now we'll put in our first distribution pipe like that. And don't worry too much about this at the moment. I'll explain it in a bit. Okay, actually, I'm going to make this one a bit better, and I'm going to put gold pipe here. Just to speed it up a bit. Gold pipe there. Distribution pipe. Well, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, distribution pipe here. Um, so then we'll put another one here. And, uh, actually, yeah, we'll put one of them there. And the same up here. I want to go there. Like that, like that. Alright, and then we're going to put in our two energy condensers here. So you're going to have one there. One there. Then you're going to want to have a gold pipe on, I mean a wooden pipe on each to take it out. And then a gold pipe just for some speed. And then we will bring this one down here. Like this. And we'll come in here. And we will put one there, there. Oh, okay, wait, that one. And we'll put another distribution pipe here. And again, I'll explain that later. And we'll put a chest where our dark matter is going to go here. And over here, we're going to have an automatic crafting bench, we haven't got one of them. Automatic crafting bench, there we go. I'll chuck one of them in. Alright. Then we'll chuck this one down here. And then we will have coming out of here a Oh oh no okay you can't place it on the top so you're gonna have to do it like this. So we got that one there. And it has to come out of the top because it doesn't come out of any other side. So this is where you're going to pull out your red matter. So again, you can use this for um, pretty much anything you want. Turn that the right way around, why not? Um, but this is just an example of how to use distribution pipes. And it's a pretty cool um, machine as well. So Okay, we're going to need some more of them cobblestone pipes. Cobblestone transport pipes. There we go. There we go. All right, and then we're going to bring down the Artanalis fuel pipe as well. So the idea is we're going to make uh, red matter and dark matter using these distribution pipes in there. So that one goes in there. Um, that could be a bit faster, but I will. Okay. So what you want to do is, with this automatic crafting table, <coughs> um, if you haven't used one of these before, they're a really good tool. So the way to make red, red matter is like that. So you put in how you're going to make it, and it'll come out like this. So this is just um, the pattern, and this will never get dragged out, but it will fill up and then drag out a red matter. So that original, you know, original pattern won't ever come out. Okay, so then what you want to do is put 
a dark matter in here and you're going to put a oh it's an atlas fuel in here so you got both pumping in and dark matter will pump in through here and then this distribution pipe will distribute it and that will come down here so what we're going to need here is a calculator here um, and if you do the EMC value of dark matter which is 139,264 and you want to find out how many times art analysis fuels go goes into it oh, um, goes into it because you want to see how much the EMC values like compared to the art analysis fuel so we'll just do this so it pretty much means that 17 of these will uh, make one of these so that's so it has the EMC value 17 times the art analysis fuel so you're going to need 17 diamonds coming in here to make one of these and only one diamond coming in here uh, if you don't follow what I'm saying then I don't know like it's pretty hard to get your head around but um, yeah you get it eventually okay so what you want to do here is you look at this distribution pipe, you find out w the two ways that it's going, so we've got teal and white oh dear teal and white, and you want one coming out of teal I mean one coming out of white and then 17 out of teal so and then put zero on all the other ones, and what this does is it drags 17 diamonds out of um, out through this pipe and then one diamond through that pipe, so 18 diamonds will come through here and 17 will go through there and one will come through there and then it will just keep doing that and basically what that will do is make one dark matter and one art analysis fuel so they pump out at the same time so they'll come down here and the dark matter needs to be distributed as well because as you can see in this pattern you've got six art analysis fuel to make one red matter and only three dark matter so you'll have them coming out at the same time so what you want to do is half the amount of dark matter that's coming in here so um, also it's pretty cool because you can have this chest here and um, you can have your dark matter going into it um, which is pretty cool so you'll have a dark matter chest and a red matter chest so what you want to do is you want to find blue and teal those are the two colors you want stuff to come out of and you go like that and you want one to come out of each, so it's pretty much halving it. So one goes in there, one comes in there. So um, then this will start making red matter. So let's put the redstone engines on all of these and start this. Redstone torch. Yeah. All right, one there, one there. We actually do this. That and actually, I'll just do this. Oops, I want to put it in there. Yeah, that's good. So then, those two will be powered, and you're going to want to power that one, and you're going to want to power that one, and this one here. Oh, there we go. Um, and then you're going to want to power this one, which is going to drag the diamonds out. And this process will get faster uh, as the redstone engines warm up, and it will go really fast. So yeah, you see one's gone in there, and it's made of analysis fuel, and then that will pull out there, and then the next 17 diamonds are going to come in here, as you can see. So they'll just keep going in there, and then this art analysis fuel, where'd it go? Oh, it's already come in here. It's already gone into here, and it fills up this spot here. Um, and then what it will keep doing is just keep filling it up, so there's puts one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and the same with dark matter. And then when it's got like a whole one, it will pull out a dark matter here, a red matter, sorry, and put it in the red matter chest. 
and then you'll have dark matter coming in here. So um, this was just a neat little way to show you how to use distribution pipes which are really cool and they got plenty of uses like this is definitely not the only thing you can do with them um, so yeah I thought I'd just show you this and it's a pretty cool machine to make your diamonds into red matter and dark matter which is always good so um, thanks for watching guys uh, see you later